Now, anytime you talk about who makes the best OLED TVs, there's one name that gets mentioned repeatedly, and that name is Sony. They're touted as the best and most premium priced TVs on the market. Now, Sony's QD OLED, the A95K, won TV of the year last year from almost every TV reviewer in the game. But that TV is the creme de la creme and probably doesn't fall under the typical user's OLED. And that's where the A80L comes into play. And when I say this TV comes to play, it's packing a lot of quality, features, and value for your money. Not only do you get the premium OLED picture quality, but you get full-on gaming features to complement that quality. This year, Sony has unleashed their full-on gaming menu, and it offers the Ansem. Like the new screen resizing feature, which is due in an upcoming firmware update, but we'll get more into gaming in a bit. Let's start with the unboxing setup experience, which was very intuitive and impressive. Finally, TV companies are making it a lot easier to go from box to stands or box to wall mount. Being able to unfold the lower portion of the boxing and then pull away styrofoam made getting this TV onto the included stands a breeze. But I opted in for wall mounting this 65 inch beauty. The A80L is compact and slim in design which can give you a pretty flush mount if that's your thing. I'm more of a full motion mount type personally, so that's the route I chose. I did put it on the included stands temporarily and they were super easy to install. You also get three options of placements for these stands to help accommodate different surface sizing as well as a soundbar setup. So if you're not familiar with OLED, I highly suggest you get familiar. But in simple terms, it gives you better blacks, higher color saturation, and deeper contrast than any non-OLED TV technology on the market. So what type of ports does the A80L give you? Four HDMI ports, two of those being HDMI 2.1, two USB type A ports, a digital optical audio port, IR port, RF antenna slash cable port, Bluetooth connectivity, and an ethernet port. Now, before I could get to the picture quality and gaming, which trust me, you'll want to see, we need to set it up using this sleek and slim Sony remote. The A80L features a Google TV setup or a basic TV setup. Either way you choose is very simple, but you do get Google Assistant and other features going with Google TV. The Bravia TV experience setup is straightforward, easy for all to do, and I was able to set up and customize each input source, register the TV, and more in minutes. Also, this TV is Apple, HomeKit, and AirPlay compatible, which is clutch if you use HomeKit. I was able to add my TV to my iPhone like you would any other HomeKit accessory in seconds. Being able to turn off my TV with my iPhone is clutch. Now this TV is powered by the Cognitive Processor XR as the brains of this operation, which when it comes to a TV's processing chip, is really what determines the picture quality you experience. So features like XR Clear Image, which is what allows for upscaling to all low resolution content is useful to help give a close to 4k image quality to non 4k footage so watching things like standard television and youtube videos having a more pleasing clarity with less noise without having to be in 4k resolution is more than ideal and speaking of youtube i watched a ton of youtube on this oled display and it never disappointed me in fact it impressed me especially when i pulled up those high quality dolby vision hdr videos Oh, and speaking of this, the A80L has Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. And if you're not quite clear on what Dolby Vision is, I'll show you an example on screen as well as a visual example of Dolby Atmos. These two technologies are a must for any TV panel I choose to use. So let's dive into picture quality. I mean, it's absolutely hard to not fall in love with OLED and that's just as true with the A80L. Now this replaced my LG OLED panel and I must say I'm very impressed with the image quality and the upgrade. Clean AF. I sat down and watched hours among hours of the latest high resolution HDR content on the market. That means Top Gun, Avatar, Super Mario Bros, some Dragon Balls and much much more. I just couldn't get over the picture quality and I'm not gassing this either. Beautiful color saturation, great viewing angles, and this display gets plenty bright for me. This is in a large room and the A80L makes its presence felt. I have two large windows to the media right of the display and two more off far left. Never once have I felt any viewing issues, whether or not those windows were open or closed in the brighter day. Placement plays a big part in this, so be mindful of that. And for all of my cinema picture mode lovers, 
If you use the native Netflix app, you can turn on Netflix calibrated mode, which is absolutely fire. Basically, you're getting a direct visual interpretation of whatever Netflix content you're watching as intended by the creator meaning it will look as it's supposed to look with no outside picture filters. And this is big because you're seeing it as it was meant to be seen. And this is what Sony is all about with their televisions. I was invited to take an exclusive look behind the actual process that goes into making these TVs. And I'll say this, just realize that Sony is not just an electronics company, but they are also a legit music industry company, professional camera company, and a mass media entertainment studio conglomerate of the film industry. And when you tie all of that into one, you get one of, if not the best viewing and listening experiences on the market because they understand sound, they understand cameras, and they actually make movies. And it all gets translated from camera to edit to your Sony TV in your home seamlessly. So any true movie enthusiast can wholeheartedly appreciate what Sony brings to the televisions they produce. It's genuinely like no other. Now, after finally pulling myself away from admiring this picture quality, it was finally time to experience some gaming. This year is a new year in terms of gaming for Sony as they have finally included a dedicated gaming menu to the Bravia XR TV lineup. And in new news, it's being added to the legacy lineup, the K-Series. This menu features support for VRR, motion blur reduction, black equalizer, crosshairs, and their new screen size and feature. And alongside that, you'll get auto HDR tone mapping with the PS5, as well as auto genre picture mode, which will switch between game mode and standard mode while using your PS5. And why is this clutch? Because as soon as you open Netflix to watch a movie on your PlayStation, you'll be switched out of game mode right into standard mode for a better viewing experience. There's also a LLM technology included for gaming as well. So I booted up some Spider-Man Miles Morales gameplay in performance mode with VRR turned on, as well as some Call of Duty Warzone for high refresh rate FPS gameplay. Now, while I absolutely sucked in Warzone on PlayStation, the quality and gameplay experience was there without issue. Sony has done justice by their gaming menu and gaming features. Now, the final topic of the AADL I wanna discuss is audio. Now, Sony sent over their A5000 soundbar, SW3200 watt wireless woofer, and RS3S rear speakers to accompany the AADL. And when I tell you adding this to the AADL took the audio experience to the next level, I mean it. I'm typically a Sonos speaker kind of guy, but this Sony system impressed me for real. Now the A80L features this acoustic surface audio plus when connected to the A5000 or A7000 soundbar from Sony. But this syncs the sound coming from the screen. Yes, the sound comes through the screen with the center channel on the soundbar. It's called acoustic center sync. This improves dialogue and voices so well. Also where the person's face is on the screen is where the sound comes from and it's nuts. The soundbar system self-calibrated itself, no phone needed, and the sound was instantly immersive and captivating. So if you're looking to add that movie sound to your Sony TV, I can recommend this system highly. So as far as first thoughts go, I'm impressed and I'm enthusiastic about Sony OLED TVs going forward. 